happen. At least I was gonna be like, BISCUIT! <laughs> What's up, P Nation? Today we're gonna do something we have never done before. I'm a Texan, she's a Marylander. We love biscuits, but we've never had something like this. We are going to try... Bojangles! That is like five to 10 pounds of biscuit right in this bag. <laughs> This is so heavy. I think you got everything on the menu. I almost did. Well, it's a very large menu, but what they're so famous for is their chicken and biscuits. So like, chicken biscuit. So I got two chicken biscuits, one with pimento cheese, a steak one, a sweet potato pie, a blueberry, a bowberry biscuit, and then some, what do you call them? Hash browns, I got hash browns on the side. I did not know you got all that. I did some research before we came here, just because I was like, we gotta know what we want, because I know it's really popular, and it is. Like, there are so many people here right now. Like, it is very packed. How much did it come to? We spent $18 on biscuits, <laughs> you know, but it is fast food, and I feel like that's a lot cheaper, because when we were in <gasps> Charleston, we spent like $18 on two biscuits, not four biscuits, right. hash browns, and everything else. And like, what if this is better? I don't know, but let's dig in. We're, we're sitting in the car because it's just kinda, I don't know. How can we make this video inside during coronavirus? Like, it just doesn't seem right. Plus, we're, I know we were gonna be like geeking out a little bit. At least I was gonna be like, biscuits! And people were gonna be looking at us. And there was like music playing, and we didn't wanna like compete for the energy, you know? So we're doing this in our car. Okay. And oh, this is perfect. So we have these first in the thing sauce we have, first? Yes. So the sauce is for? I just got the sauce because I wanted to try it. But we have a little package of hash browns and Bo's special sauce. Wow, this is super creamy. What is yes. that? Oh, okay, it's on my finger. I'm sure it wow, <laughs> I'm not ready for horseradish in the morning. Horseradish? <laughs> I think that's what's in there. Wow, it has like seafood, another level. What? Unless it's Thousand Island and it just has a lot of tang. Oh, okay, I think we should start with the biscuit and then get to that later because mm. that's horseradish, right? It has a lot of flavor, but it does have that kick. It's kind of like a cocktail sauce. That's what it is. It's a creamy cocktail sauce. That's how I'd probably describe it. Mmm, mm, that's good. Oh, I feel like we should do real food first. Okay, next thing yeah, I pulled yeah. out was the sweet potato pie. It is so little. I love their branding, just yellow. I know, it's very fun. Okay, what is this one? Next. Cajun filet bi Cajun filet biscuit with pimento cheese. Now we've talked about pimento cheese before. In South Carolina, it's like a really, it's like a, not like a big deal, but it's something that they really love. Oh, this is gonna be my favorite. I think, without a doubt. Oh, okay. Can I have this bite? Am I allowed to have this dance? Mmm. Is it good? Mm-hmm. There's nothing better than a chicken breakfast biscuit. Is it spicy chicken? Mm-hmm. So they don't even have like regular chicken, it's just like spicy chicken. Really? It's like Cajun filet, which I think is really good. This biscuit is next level. I mean, the one we had in Charleston was very dry, and I was really worried that most of the South had dry biscuits because in Texas they're always so moist. And this is I like that spot biscuit, on. But this is way better. <laughs> <laughs> you did not like that biscuit. She's making this up. I don't know. I did it. like it. I didn't like it. But that is so good. I like pimento cheese, and we've been looking for really good pimento cheese. It's like got some texture and some bite, and this definitely has it. Most pimento cheeses in South Carolina that we found, you just spread it on, and it's just a spread, like the sauce you just saw me eat and almost die on. It's just a spread. But this is like got some, like you can pick it up. It's thick. Mm -hmm. That is really, really good. I would get that over and over again. Maybe this was a bad idea. Like, why? Because now we know how good it is. All right. Like we've been passing Bojangles for a month now. A lot of them. M many, many Bojangles. And we're always like, eh. Like, is it? We're not like, eh. We're like, oh, it's a Bojangles. Oh, what yeah, does that mean? Yeah, we get excited about it. I have no it. idea what that is. But we're like, in the back of my head, I'm like, it can't be that good. But there's a reason there's so many locations. All right, next on the menu is my cup of tea. Mm -hmm. It is the blueberry biscuit, which has got glaze on it. 
Oh, look at that. That's so good. And this was only a dollar and twenty cents. Mm -hmm. Super cheap. Mm. It looks like cake. Oh, you get some crispiness from the top, and the middle is so light and delicate. <laughs> what a shot. It is like cake. Mm. Okay, well, I don't know what's better. I mean, pimento cheese is better. I can't. But if I needed a snack in the middle of the day, it would definitely be this blueberry one. It's so moist on the inside. Oh no. What is this magic? Yeah, that was really good. I just want to try a hash brown without the sauce. They're pretty good. They are meaty. They're very thick. Compared to most hash browns. They smell oniony too. They do. Mm -hmm. When she was putting them in a the bag, I thought they were onion rings. Really? Mm hmm. Mm. So it's like a lunch and that's what the vibe is here so far, except the blueberry. But it's like savory, savory, savory breakfast food. Like not traditional sweet American breakfast food at all. Like you go to McDonald's and you get, what's the sandwich that comes with like a pancake on top and bottom? McGriddle. Yeah, like that's not a thing here. It's all savory food. This one, I'm very excited for it. Because it is something, the concept is so, strange to me not strange like wonderful that this is actually on a menu because it is a fried steak biscuit That's like what that means. a chicken fried steak on a biscuit not just a steak biscuit a chicken fried steak like battered and fried put on a biscuit it looks like it's gonna be really dry. What do you think? Oh, after the last biscuits, I'm not I'm not even <laughs> no worried about that anymore. Like, if it is dry, just dip it in the horseradish sauce. This might not be like my cup of tea, but it is really good. Or it's my cup of tea. If you could get a bowl of gravy. And dip that in it. Done. I mean, that's a heart attack and a meal, but you can't get this anywhere else. You just can't. I feel like you would like it with ketchup. Oh yes. You're a ketchup boy. That's what, the pimento one. What is it? This is another pimento? It's, no, that's just the, yeah, that's the pimento. Mm. I guess you can keep eating that one. Because the other one we got was just the chicken. So I was, I, my intention was just to eat the chicken filet mm. to see what that's about. Mm. And then Zach had to go straight for the pimento. Here is the chicken biscuit. It is beautiful. There's a lot of chicken on here. Yeah, that filet is a lot bigger than the pimento cheese one. It's, and it's always the spicy chicken. Yeah, you can see the little red bones. No, you can. And I guess maybe the pimento has some kick to it too, because this is less spicy, but it is spicy. I'm thinking the pimento has some kick to it. Mm -hmm. mm. Overall, that's a really good piece of chicken too. Like it's very satisfying. You're not like, eh, this doesn't taste good, you know? I can see how this would fit most people, but I like pimento cheese so much. Yeah. I'm always on the hunt for it. Yeah. And finding it at a fast food place is impossible. Right. So. Impossible. Well, it might not be so impossible anymore because Chick-fil-A, and sort of add here, we're here on Sunday, can't go to Chick-fil-A on Sunday. Chick-fil-A is gonna experiment doing pimento cheese on their famous chicken sandwich. Really? So that could be groundbreaking. But right now, Bojangles number one. Was Bojangles an influence, you think? Uh, definitely. Also, Chick-fil-A is based in Atlanta and there's a lot of pimento cheese eaters in the South. Oh. And so I think that kind of stirred the conversation. And they need to come out with new items, so. But Bojangles had a good from the start. I don't oh. I don't know. I think I like fried steak better than chicken, if we're being honest. Really? Mm -hmm. You know, it has something for everyone. You're a steak and ketchup man. I'm a chicken woman. I'm also a blueberry muffin man. Now the last thing. There's a more? I feel like we've just like moved right along on this road. I think you are more excited about this Bojangles experiment than you had let on. Well, I didn't know. We'd had pimento cheese here like four times. Mm -hmm. And I wanted pimento cheese so much that I got my aunt to ship me some from Texas. She shipped it in dry ice. I wasn't expecting that because she knew how much I wanted pimento cheese. And so I've been on the hunt for good pimento cheese. And the first good pimento cheese I found is at a place called Bojangles. And I'm so confused because I've tried all these artisanal pimento cheeses here in South Carolina. Artisanal. <laughs> and this is the first one I found is at a fast food restaurant. So that's why I appreciate <laughs> this pimento cheese sandwich so much because it's been a journey to get here. It's been a journey to get here. Now, like I said before, I had done some research and the thing I think I was most excited about was this sweet potato pie. That Look was what you're cute. most excited about? Well, because I just think it, it, like the concept is so brilliant and I'm really excited for it. It looks like it has cinnamon sugar on top and this thing is like very heavy. Would you like to feel it? 
Would you like to feel it? <gasps> Whoa. Very cinnamon sugar on the outside. It's like a churro outside with the biscuit inside. And then sweet potato too, okay. The pimento cheese was really good. The blueberry biscuit was really good. The sauce is okay. This <laughs> might be better than all of those. That might be the reason we come back. This is everything in one. Do you really mean that? Yeah, I don't think you're ready. Maybe I hyped it up too much, but. This is something else. And I feel like no one would get this. Why it doesn't say Bojangles famous sweet potato pie <laughs> on the sign is tragic because this is the best thing I think we've had. I don't know. I don't know though. I'm still a pimento cheese fan. Mmm. Mmm. This is so good. Pimento cheese, man. Okay, that is the best. Okay, Bojangles House of Biscuits. It's decided. House Your sweet potato pies are the best. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, the only thing we didn't get was sweet tea, but I think we all know what that tastes like. To rate this experience on a scale of one to 10, I would say it was definitely a 10. Bojangles has exceeded all expectations. I literally could not imagine it would have been this good or this popular so early in the morning. It is like eight o'clock. Like, it is so early. This was so good. If you like us reviewing any fast food places anywhere, we've already done a Dolly B one that has over 20,000 views. I don't know if you like this one or not. Tell us if you do. But thank you for watching because we had a lot of fun making this video. I didn't think I liked biscuits this much. I didn't either. Oh, he's got a sneeze. <gasps> <laughs> We're back. <laughs>